scary Peppa Pig videos on the internet. Let's begin. <laughs> Alright, this is the unexpected preppy mother pig show part two by Bobo X Place. Oh, Daddy Pig got that Gucci, bro. <laughs> Daddy Pig. Oh my god. Bro, what the heck is that? Why does it look so demonic, man? Oh, I need to call my friend, Susie. <laughs> what the- Peppa, why are you calling? This reminds me of, like, Lone Wolf. You guys my remember that? My mom is crazy. She cooked my little brother. Oh, my god, Peppa girl was. Yo, they cooked my oh, boy, no, George. I think my mom locked the door. What? Peppa, let's go find your dad. Okay, bestie, let's go. Her bestie? That's her best friend? Oh, I can't. I haven't had my daily beer. No, no. Hey. Beer, beer, no, my beer. That is it got that fit on, bro. Years. Dies of not what drinking beer. No. <laughs> no way. Who did this to you? I smell bacon. So yummy. Peppa, we got to go now. Holy crap. I think that was Mommy Pig. Bacon, yes. Oh, it is. Dude, she cooked Daddy Pig and turned him into bacon, man. The back door was open. Let's go, Susie. Okay, Peppa. Not so fast, my delicious lady. <laughs> Y'all better get to running. She cooks us. Oh. Dude, Bobby Pig has gone insane. What the heck is wrong Rin with you, man? Yes, bacon, bacon. No way she actually cooked them. Yes, yes, bacon. <laughs> Dude. What? <laughs> what the? <gasps> the end. Is this even real life? All right, our next three videos are gonna be by Dirt and VO, and this is "It's Too Cold for George." When the snowflakes begin to fall from the sky, oh, no. and the Why streets George, and houses bro? are gradually wrapped in snow, Peppa Pig's family feels the unique atmosphere of the upcoming Christmas. Christmas. During these moments. Peppa likes to spend time with her beloved brother, George. However, from that day on, she would never be able to play with him again. Oh. This is the story of a missing person, the investigation of which dragged on for several months. Nah, it bro, all what started with George, unremarkable bro? snow. Pepper and George ran outside to play in the snow. They were enjoying the winter. The snow was very deep that day. After they had played enough, they like decided to return home. Uh, but George did not go in. When Peppa had lunch, she decided to go back outside and saw a big snowball. Ooh. She realized that George had started building the snowman without her, but most likely got tired and went home. She completed the snowman with head, and then came to her room to show the snowman Wait, to George, yo, what did he say? but he wasn't there. She got worried and told her parents. The parents went to look for George. They couldn't find George. When they called the police, the investigation has begun. The police could not find any traces of George due to the fact that the parents had already trampled around while searching. They could only find the blue hat left by George. A month passed, followed by another, month later? but no one could okay. find George. What made him run away? And where is he now? I feel bad now, when man. Peppa it's went just home, a kid. He decided to return for some reason, child, but the way out of the house goes down the slope. He fell during the descent. Due to the slope of the mountain, he no, did not stop he's when falling snowman. and began to tumble down the mountain. Bro, this snow is crazy. Snow began to stick to him, gradually forming a ball. When that ball of this snow with George insane. inside stopped, George couldn't even move. How did I he not He could barely breathe. He was lying without oxygen, unable to move and in the freezing cold. Bro. It's a terrible situation. He was probably alive when Peppa was building the snowman, oh, but he couldn't no. call for help from Peppa who was decorating the snowman in the meantime. No one has touched the snowman since then. However, Dude. it could not stand forever. And one warm spring morning, Peppa oh, went for no. a walk and saw her brother. Just since just then, started, couldn't get she's worse. been afraid of snowmen, of what might lurk inside them. Dude, that was crazy. I did not expect that story to turn like that. Holy crap. Next we got Peppa is starving. As raindrops hit the window, Peppa's family was gathered indoors, enjoying their time together. They were expecting the rain to pass soon and discussed how fun it would be to jump in muddy puddles the next morning. Oh, that's not good. Little did they know, a devastating loss was about to strike them. That day, as everyone was getting ready for bed, the rain continued to pour throughout the night. In the morning, an excited Peppa ran out of the house, ready to jump in muddy puddles. 
However, as she stepped outside, she noticed that there was a massive flood Dang. surrounding their home with no other dry <laughs> land in sight. That's actually crazy. Daddy Pig did not expect this either and jumped out of I'll the have house a right into the water. It was the worst flood the Peppa Pig family had ever witnessed. As they Ooh, discussed their situation, they realized that their mobile phones were not working, leaving them completely isolated. Damn, so they're stranded Unable there. to swim and with nowhere within walking distance, they decided to wait it out. Mummy Pig started to prepare breakfast, just but Daddy discovered Pig that there wasn't much food left. They had been planning to go to the supermarket that day. Mummy Pig estimated that they had about two days worth of food she got left. That green stuff. She also predicted that in two days, the water level would recede enough for them to walk to their neighbors or for help to arrive. So there was no need to panic. However, as the next night oh, fell, raining. more rain poured down, causing the pig parents to worry. The water level hadn't decreased at all. By the end of the second day, the situation was the same. Dude, they're literally on survival on the mode morning, right now. There was no improvement. No help had arrived. The water and hadn't still subsided, raining, bro. and they had run out of food. There was nothing left for breakfast. Oh. George took a few sips of ketchup from a bottle just to have something in his stomach. I like doing that when I'm bored. On the fourth day, ketchup. hunger began to take its toll. Peppa, weakened by exhaustion, oh. started to feel sick. She got chicken She had pox. contracted some sort of illness. George and the parents were holding up well. By the fifth day, Peppa did not leave her room anywhere. The parents could endure not having food, but they Peppa, were afraid I mean, for their children. In addition to hunger, they suffered from utter boredom. Just eat some Towards paper, bro. Towards the evening of sixth day, George too Dude, fell ill, dead his on young the couch. body unable to handle the lack of food. Parents was crying Ain't that no way day, he's not dead, which bro. upset George, feeling powerless in the situation. George woke up on the seventh morning to Dude, a strange smell coming from the kitchen. Not even pink anymore. His parents told him that they had found some food for him, his first proper meal in five days. It was strange food, unlike anything George had ever eaten before. It's pepper. The texture was soft and chewy. Perhaps it was the extreme hunger, or perhaps it was the taste itself. But he found it delicious. It's gonna be his the sister, man. watched him with empty stares. Suddenly, they heard a voice from the street. Grandpa Pig had arrived in a oh. small boat, bringing food supplies. He was relieved to find his family, but it was too late. The family was now missing one member. Bro, they killed Peppa and they fed her to George. And then the grandma and the grandpa come with a boat full of supplies. That is insane, man. And our final video is Daddy Pig was struck by lightning. Peppa and George love playing together outside, but on this day, leaving the house was like the worst decision. They playing outside a lot. The storm caused terrible losses to their family. That day, Peppa went with George for a picnic outside. They took toys with them, and under the sunny weather, they ate cookies with juice. Cookies. As soon as they finished, they heard thunder. A storm was approaching, and Mummy Pig called them to go home as quickly as possible. Daddy Pig wasn't worried about it, but the sky was getting darker and darker. I'm but then it turned out that Peppa man. had left a toy in the garden, and Daddy Pig went to retrieve it, not thinking about his safety. He went down to the toy, oh. and then lightning Here struck. Comes the lightning. Lightning Dang. struck a tree he was standing too close to. He roasted bacon. He fell out. unconscious. His family watched this happen. Pepper and George were scared, and Mummy Pig ran to call an ambulance. But when she dialed the number, she realized oh, that the connection wasn't working because of the storm. She told Pepper to stay at home, and she herself ran to Daddy Pig. I was about to say, this is He lay unconscious under the cold rain, but he had a pulse. Oh, Mummy Pig hope. was glad that he was alive. She thought she could carry him home. But nah, when she tried to pull him home, she couldn't do it. He weighed too much, and the path home was slippery from Hold the rain. Up like a ball. She could never have carried him up the hill to the house. Drag him Mummy with the Pig car. ran to the nearest neighbors, leaving George and Pepper alone. They sat at home and shuddered at every roll of thunder. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig was still alive. He began to regain consciousness, so that but was so paralyzed. Because the rain didn't stop, a puddle began to form under him. When Mommy Pig tried to move him, she left him face down. Bro! Now, in addition to hypothermia from the cold and wetness, How is he his face was pressed right he into the mud. He is not the Titanic, bro. It was getting harder for him to breathe. Almost an hour later, the storm had already ended. <laughs> and at that time, twisted, Mummy man. Pig came with Dr. Brown Bear. But Daddy Pig was no longer breathing. <laughs> this is insane. After a long time, Mummy Pig continues to blame herself for this. 
Yes, you and should. Pepper and George will never yes, stop being afraid of thunder. If anything, it was whoever left the toy outside's fault because he went back outside to grab the toy, and that's when you got struck by lightning. All right, you guys. Well, that is the end of these Peppa Pig scare videos on the internet. Um, dude, I like these uh dirt and Vioza um videos because like they're not even scary. It's just the fact that I don't know, man. Like they don't have any scary characters. They're just like naturally scary i can't describe it man but they're awesome shout out to Durden. um and shout out to bubble x place for the videos i'll link them down below in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves and thank you guys for watching and have a great weekend